Have you learned to react with JavaScript and you build every project with JavaScript? Maybe you have wondered if this is a good approach. Let's check it and explore the topic. In summary, TypeScript enhances React development by providing type safety, improving the developer experience, facilitating maintenance, and increasing code quality through its static type checking features. However, it has also disadvantages like additional verbosity to your code, compilation time, and dynamic typing challenge. Looking at this from a different perspective, for small simple projects, the overhead of setting up TypeScript might not be justified. The benefits of type safety and error checking might not outweigh the extra setup and development time required. Moreover, especially in the early stages of a project, TypeScript's strictness can slow down rapid prototyping and iteration. Developers might find themselves spending more time resolving type errors than building out features. When you are starting a new project, you have to consider the benefits of TypeScript. Let's see an example of companies that utilize React with TypeScript on the platform or website. Based on research from the DHIYS website, we can find platforms like Uber, Spotify, GitHub, LinkedIn, and more. Let's see in the code how to implement React app with TypeScript. Let's create a new React app using Vite. Vite is a fast and lightweight build tool for modern web development, which is a great and popular combination for such a project. Use the command npm to create Vite latest and choose to React and TypeScript in the console. Then we can see the characteristic React folder structure, the differences in file extensions, Instead of JSX files, we can find TSX, which refers to the TypeScript syntax of React components. Moreover, you can find tsconfig file, which is a configuration file used in TypeScript projects to specify the root files and compiler options required to compile the project. As you can see in the app.tsx file, the syntax is without typing and IDE is not throwing errors, even though this use state hook should have been typed as a number. TypeScript intelligent design allows to interpret of the type by an initial value. In this case, zero indicates the number. However, it would be cleaner to rewrite it, especially when we can use multiple types. Let's see how to build simple components and how they differ from the JavaScript version. I have created a greeting component that takes a name as a prop. You can see that it is typed by the syntax react.fc and then a type. React.fc stands for React Functional Component. Every component typed like that should return children. Prop in angle brackets is a generic that is used to specify the shape of props which are passed. Now you can see the difference between TypeScript and JavaScript versions. At each step, there are more lines of code to add, so it cannot be the quickest solution. It is important to mention that there are more advanced examples of using TypeScript with React. Comment down below if you want a little advanced tutorial. If you're a beginner, you can see one of my latest videos about switching from JavaScript to TypeScript. If you want to become a modern developer, you can subscribe to the Modern Dev newsletter. Link in the description.